the first generation navic that you saw uh, the indian government made it mandatory for it to be used in all the government led uh, programs mm -hmm. so for instance uh, the indian railways uh, the engines uh, they use navic system otherwise if you remember an era where trains especially during winters they used to ply late years yeah. of fog always yeah, yeah. always yeah and uh, there uh, you know the the the, uh, the control and command station of the indian railways used to be unaware yeah. where the train is so to get over that uh, the end user indian railways was made end user mm -hmm. uh, the the road and transport ministry is a big end user of course ministry of defense is a big end user and uh, more recently when india started assembling uh, phones mm -hmm. in india mobile phones in india we made sure that uh, some of the chip manufacturers uh, that have been supplying chips for our mobile phones we made sure that these companies build chips that are compatible with navic mm -hmm. so these are not indian companies these are not indian semiconductor companies these are american companies but uh, we made sure that they make chips that are compatible with navic because if you have to sell navic yeah you need to the, your mobile phone yeah, yeah. you need the chips that go into it to be using navic or to so, be compatible with navic mm -hmm. so this is a 2 or 3 year old phone it wouldn't be compatible with navic it should be 2 or 3 years it should be i mean uh, all the phones that have come after let's say 2018 2019 eh, okay yeah. are more or less uh, especially the android phones mm -hmm. they are more or less uh, compatible with uh, uh, navic systems okay so we are talking about strategic applications and we are talking about which are niche the market is small yeah. but we are also talking about the enormous you know market base scope yeah yeah which is there for uh, you know commercial applications of navic so from your zomato to your your your, your swiggy your netmed your 1mg mm -hmm. so there are huge commercial grocery, yeah Commercial there is huge commercial implications for this mm -hmm. we're looking at a billion uh, i mean yeah, in business yeah, hundreds of billions of dollars right so that's why pnt is the elusive technology that every country wants because it opens up an enormous market mm -hmm. a domestic market and if you really have a technology that can go global then it opens up uh, access to international markets gps has done that for itself so gps has earned enormous revenue for the united states all these years uh, and with growing competition now to the gps mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the russians have the glonass uh, the chinese have the baidu yeah. uh, then uh, we have this